got another package. This time, it's from Juvia's Place, which, we're not gonna lie, I've heard a couple of little things about them, both good and bad. Ooh. We love another bout of safety. We have the Saharan Gel Eyeliner. This is actually one of the things I've heard um, mixed reviews about. I love the packaging, by the way. But, so I'm actually gonna try this first. I'm just gonna do swatchy stuff. And when I do looks from them, I'll let you guys know. So the brush is the thing that I've heard the most about. A lot of people say that they don't like it to apply um, eyeliner with because it's too soft and not thin enough. It is very, very soft, which I actually love. Probably not to apply eyeliner, but I have actually never used gel eyeliner before. I've always sworn by my liquid eyeliner. And obviously in the old days, I used the pencil liner. But we have black. Oh, and they have metal things on them. That's actually awesome. So I'm going to leave those on there for a moment. And we have brown. So I can show you guys the other things that are already kind of more open, so to speak. And I got a shade stick. I got it in the shade Namibia. I actually got it to use as a contour stick. Because I just wouldn't use something like this for foundation anyway. It's kind of like... Maybe it's meant to be concealer. I'm not actually sure. But, ooh... Okay, that's actually a really good amount of product considering. That's pretty good, like it's very like um buttery, so to speak. But what without feeling too um oily. And yeah, you can actually blend it out with your finger, which is nice, because sometimes I'm lazy. I don't like to get my brushes fucked up. So I'll just use my finger to do something like that. I've actually been using the same contour palette for three years. It's like a Wet n Wild Walgreens thing. Uh, it's kind of more of a bronzer just because it's like more... How do I say? It's like more um, warm tone. But for me that works because I'm kind of in the neutral to warm tone range. Oh, I'm opening the... This is what I'm most excited about. The Violets by Juvia Mini Palette. And, ooh, there's bubble wrap. Safety. Sorry. I can use that when I package stuff. I like to reuse bubble wrap. It is mini. That's so cute. It's like smaller than my hand. So let's just see what the pans look like in real life. Oh, they're actually pretty big has this protective paper again we love protection um and from what i can see this is the lilac-y purple and this is like the glitter for the lilac-y purple so i'm actually gonna try and swatch them on my hand now so i can show you i'm not gonna go too crazy because i just don't fucking like ruining my shit it feels really soft by the way It's not going to show up too pigmented, mostly because of the way that I'm doing it. Oh, bitch. The fucking glitter ones, though, as you could imagine, are very bright. And I actually don't have any color, like, purple colored palettes. Or, like, even in my palettes, I don't actually have purples. I'm going to redo the super lilac -y one because I want you to be able to see it. Okay, so this is the lavender. This is the lavender tone glitter. This is the darker purple glitter. This is the kind of, I don't know, it gives me kind of like a plum vibe um, glitter. This one is like a peachy purple glitter and this one is the dark purple um, matte color. I actually love all of them. I'll show you from the other view so you can get a better look. So the mattes definitely seem like they'd be better applied wet, in my opinion. Sorry that the camera keeps shifting. It actually keeps um, falling off my thing since I haven't gotten a case for this phone yet. 
a little frustrating, not gonna lie, but we try not to get too mad. I'm trying to put the fucking protective sheet back on this, actually. And I might keep it in here just because their packaging is just fucking cool. Why would I get rid of it? Um, we're gonna go for these gel ones next, the eyeliner. The ones I've heard that people are, have a problem with the consistency is the brown. So we're gonna try that first. Some people just say it's a little too, um, a little too hard in consistency. Ooh, and this little thing actually just comes right off. This would be a good swatch brush, so I guess it's, I guess it's good for something. Oh shit, it, like picks it up like immediately. Let's just hope this is like works. Like I said, I was just scared because of some reviews that I saw. Ooh. Oh, bitch. I'll definitely show you from the other side. I'm going to drag it out a little, but you really don't even have to build it up. Unless you want like a really, really dark brown for your eyeliner. I'm actually going to put the protective thing back on this as well because I don't typically use a uh, brown eyeliner, but we try in it. Now onto the black. And it applies on like very smoothly. Just trying to get the rest of that brown off. That was good for like second swatches, so to speak. If you wanted to do it like under the eye kind of thing, and you want it more um, smoky or drawn out. So. Ooh. Again, glides on very nicely. And then I'll do a little thing next to it. So the outer ones, like I said before, are kind of like if you want a more buffed out look. But the inner ones are from one swipe only. Bitch, in my opinion, that looks pretty good. First impressions of everything is really good. I am going to read what the shade stick says to you so I can give you some feedback on that specifically. Formulated to feel like skin, our shade stick is a weightless, multi-purpose formula that glides on seamlessly to cover imperfections while giving full definition to the face. The full coverage formula is infused with shea butter and oil controlling ingredients to aid in a long wear time while providing radiance to the skin. Um, I feel like it's true that it glides on really nice. It does feel like skin, but... It is not full coverage. It's like medium coverage at best, but because I'm going to be using it for contour for me, that's really not a problem. But I'd say if you plan to use this as like a full face foundation, don't. My favorite thing that I got is the palette, but I'm most satisfied with the gel liners because I actually just had to throw away my liquid eyeliner. I thought we'd go down a new path in life try new things that's all the feedback that i have for now but stay tuned because i will be doing makeup looks within the next few weeks with all the products that i've been showing you guys so see you